Okay, Alan, say I saw a couple things in uh, the models you sent me. So here are the unzip folders. Oh, here are the zip folders, but the unzip ones over here. And then we have this extra part down here. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. Uh, the drawing sketches also has a uh, an assembly in it. it has some drawing files, too. If I open up the assembly, it's kind of looking for a file, but I think that's the one that's in here, too. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that and open that up, too. And then close this out and take a look at this. So it looks like you're kind of starting... You know, it looks very similar to my uh, weldment structural members I was using, and you're also doing the stacking too that uh, I would do in my, uh, you know, in my uh, presentation. So I think there's probably some things we could probably do with this, but I'm anticipating you would like to put together a tower that might be bolted rather than uh, welded. And uh, you know, a lot of these towers that I see that are like this are welded, They're not typically bolted together. But I think there's a way that we could probably do this, and you know, maybe a connection plate in here might be a good way to get these things stacked. Because sometimes you might get a little bit of a pinching down here, or you might have to reverse these a little bit. Because typically, what I see in a tower application is that the roof is kind of on top rather than on the bottom. Because it kind of creates a gutter in a way. And this thing would be the same thing over here. But I think if you did that, you'd have the roof over here, then the roof over here, and you wouldn't have an intersection here. You might be able to line these up a little bit better. It might be a little bit different down here. Because now you have the roof kind of running into it down here, maybe. No, I don't, I don't think so. I think it would actually work. It would just be reverse everywhere that you see it. So I think it would probably work. But anyways, uh, I think you're trying to make an attempt to probably do something like that and try to get that uh, get the model put together uh, using a bolted structure rather than a welded structure. But let me know if I'm on the right track with that. And uh, yeah, a bunch of errors over here. But if I open up uh, the other folder in here too, we could probably uh, look at some other models in here. And let's go ahead and take a look at the in this folder. I think the part I was looking at is probably this top part. And a lot of these uh, parts in here too are all look like they're all welded, except for this uh, section down here. This could probably uh, be bolted together too. So, and I think a lot of these are uh, very similar. I think you only have a couple of different parts that kind of look like these towers in the assemblies have the you know the connection plates in the very bottom of the parts. Uh, that help uh, put the tower uh, sections together, if I'm not mistaken. So let me know if I'm on the right track with that. If you want to try to build something like this with a, um, you know, in a bolted structure with those uh, angled uh, structural members, uh, L angles, I think is what SolidWorks calls them. And uh, let me know what you think. I could probably uh, put something together for you real quick and maybe give you uh, some guidance on how you could proceed from that. Or I can make a video and show you how to do that too. There's a couple different options. Or uh, just let me know what uh, you would like to do, and uh, if you can, send me a video and you know, kind of go through the models too, and let me know what you uh, what you're intending to do, and what sort of advice I might be able to get you. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming to my presentation. It's a pleasure meeting you, and uh, we'll talk soon.